agreement they will make to sell you. Every agreement that is going on that has affected your destiny, I decree that agreement that you shall not stand there. Yeah. Listen, if your enemy is a believing one, something shall be cancelled in your life. Yeah. I said that agreement shall not stand. Yeah. That agreement shall no more stand. Yeah. Shall no longer stand. Yeah. The agreement shall no longer stand. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Fight, Boston. May there be fights. Amen. I said, may there be fights because of you Amen. in the kingdom of darkness. Amen. Here there is something just later into my spirit. He said, it's not everybody they can sell. Because the other, I don't know why the society is selling that one at you. But when it gets to this particular one, ah, it couldn't be sold. Why, why, why didn't they, why couldn't they sell this one? Because it's not everybody that can be bought. Can I tell you something? Anyone that has been bought by blood cannot be sold. Do you yes, That boy is a replica of the believers that has the mark of Christ. No matter how much they plan, you cannot be sold. Amen. Can you lift up your two hands to heaven? My father in heaven, Amen. from this day forward, Amen. everyone under the sound of my voice. No matter how tough the men are, you can never be sold again. Yeah. You can return to their slave. Yeah. You can return to their slave. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. shut and refuse to be resold. I refuse to be sold. In the name of Jesus, yeah. give a new The fight was there. Fight the was there. Now, this is what happened when somebody sold. Can I say this again? Yes, Nobody dies until he is sold. Nobody dies. No matter the death, when I ask them, nobody dies until he is sold. Until there is a spiritual hand sold. The Bible says something in the John. John, let's let's something here. This is something here. In the book of John, John chapter 13, from verse 2. There are two people through which you can be sold. How many people? There are so many people. I don't want to show you two people through which you can be sold. Now, John chapter 13 from verse 2. Supper being ended, that after the supper, and supper being ended, the devil, having now put into the heart of Judas Simon son to sell Jesus. To do what? Now, you follow me here carefully. The word betrayed that means sell. Remember, he collected money. He sold Jesus. Right? Now, Jesus would not have been sold if Judas, or he would not have been killed if Judas did not sell. That means the, one of the people that can sell him is the Ayodos. That is why you should be very careful on the thing you say. Listen, they may not have collected cash, but they have told somebody something about it. That's why they are avoiding it. Why did that marriage cancel? Why did that business cancel? Why that agreement you had with somebody to give you a contract? Why did it cancel? Because somebody went behind you and tell that person something about you that you didn't know. And that is why that thing cancel. Judas, the best friend of Jesus, they were, they, were, they were friends from the childhood. They didn't just start as disciples. They were friends. They grew up together. And then that same guy who they ate together, they, were, they, went to, they went to the same school. They came from the same village, the same kindred. And he knew Jesus' parents. Jesus knew his parents. They were two groups. It was still the same guy. But hear me. The transaction was not done just because it was Judas. But the devil was there. But the problem with Judas is that he did his head. Can I say something? Yes, sir. sir, who sells? The devil sells. How did he sell us? He sells us to people. And then the people that he do sell us to are close friends. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if something that has happened to you in the last 10 years, if there is anything that has gone wrong in your life in the last 10 years, 
somebody very close to you have a revelation. This has just come like a revelation. If anything has gone wrong in your life in the last ten years, somebody who is very close to you have a revelation. There is something that the Lord is laying in my spirit about last ten years. In the last ten years, in the last ten years, more than ten years, in the last ten years. Now, there are some certain things, or there is a particular thing you've been asking God for, you've been hoping to get that never happened. I didn't say last 10 years, I said, I didn't say last 10 weeks, I didn't say last 10 days, I said 10 years. Since 10 years ago, you had a wish that never came to you. have something you have been struggling for. I wish I could get this. You've been struggling for that thing for over 10 years. It could be a document, it could be money to you. Could be pregnancy, could be anything, but somebody you are here. You are here. The spirit of God, man, you are here. Look into your spirit and look into your life. Now, in the last 10 days, I've been struggling with this in the right Do you know why I'm saying this? Because it's ending this year. Amen. Your amen is very important to attract it. I said it's ending this year. Amen. I heard something that. It shall run up. There is a rounding up. There is a rounding up. There is a rounding up. Whatever thing started over 10 years ago that you never achieved up to this day, the Lord said by the end of this year, it shall not only be in your heart, but it shall enter your heart. I said it shall enter your heart. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. I give you this week and the next week to flash back and then look at the ones you are struggling with right now and check when you start struggling with it. I'm talking about 10 years strong. I'm talking about 10 years back, 10 years fight. Amen. Check what is going on in your life now and then check the time from that time and now if it is 10 years. Whatever the things that you have been over 10 years, I heard it clear in my spirit. Over 10 years, something over 10. Hear me, child of God. It's running up this year. Amen. I said, It's running up this year. Amen. I said, It's running up this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's running up this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, the second people through which can be so I your family. Amen. Amen. Now you all know the story of Joseph. They don't collect money. They don't collect money. They sold him and they collected money. Hallelujah. Who are the people that sold Joseph? His family. Two people, sir. I'm not saying you should hate your family. I don't like talking about like I don't like preaching to put the limit in the family. It's not in my ministry. But I don't know where I'm talking about this. But I think I need to talk about it. Because somebody will leave your neck after this preaching. Yeah. I said somebody will leave your neck yeah. after this preaching. Yeah. I said somebody will leave your neck after this preaching. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. They were very close. These brothers, the same father. And they showed him. And they sold him to slavery and they took money. Your family members are the closest person that can sell you. But hear the good news. I don't care to know when you are sold to. I don't care to know the plan to sell you. But today, the knowledge of Jesus binds you. The knowledge that Jesus has bought you the price. We redeem you. We serve you. We clear them out of your life. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I am redeemed. Shout, I am redeemed. Shout it like you mean, I am redeemed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my father. So, the devil is behind every spiritual transaction. Who is behind? The devil. The devil is behind every spiritual transaction. What about transaction that has gone wrong somewhere, the devil has had it. That is why God hates even human trafficking. It's a slavery. Anything that has to do with selling people, selling souls, he 
is evil. It's a sin and God hates it. Praise God. So, sir, it is blood money. When you sell somebody, like, when you sell somebody to make money, it's a blood money. But the person is so it's, it's, it's a flesh and blood money. It's not Don't think blood money is only those rituals who bring you for sacrifice. No. Anybody that betray anyone for money has done ritual. Has done blood money. I know how many ways that people can sell their friends as a creator. If I tell something against you to take a position, sir, that is ritual. That's ritual. Am I talking about? If I have told a lie. To, to scatter your marriage or to take your place, that is ritual. That's ritual. I have sold a soul and I take money as a ritual. That's a blood money. Hear me. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May God sanctify your hands. Amen. Whatsoever thing you have made in life, may God sanctify your hands. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Can I say this? Can I say this very briefly? Now, hear what happened. I saw a man who was into ritual, into blood money. But when he had a encounter with Christ, he said, I will return to all those who I took from, even several fools. You know the man? Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. He said, he, he tell false testimonies. He lied against people and took up their lives. And he made himself rich with other people. That was the truth. And when Jesus stands in his presence, there is something about the presence of God that you cannot deny with you. There is something about the presence of Jesus. When Jesus is standing with you, when the holy man is standing with you, there is something about the presence of the holy man. That you cannot deny who you are. He said, I have seen. I have collected money from people who force me. But because I have received you, because I can feel your mark upon my face, I return to everybody. I return to everybody. I return to everybody that has stolen from me. And from the very first day to the last day, I will go to them and I will be add more to them because I, 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 I just want to say this in prophecy to someone who is listening to me right now that before the year runs down, Zacchaeus shall come to your house. Amen. I say Zacchaeus will come to your house. Because when you come to the house, you are going to pay you back. You are going to return to you. You are going to bring to you all the papa works, all the kaka works, has eaten. He has come. You shall have a visitor. Amen. I said, You shall have a visitor. Amen. You shall have a visitor. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you say to somebody by your side, Zacchaeus will come to your house? Say so like it says, Zacchaeus will come to your house. Zacchaeus will come to your house. You know what it means? It means that when Zacchaeus comes to your house, everything that is stolen from you shall be returned. Amen. Do you know why I like that visitation? They take one from you, but you will not tell you. Amen. Amen. I said, they take one from you, but you will not tell you. Amen. They will not tell you. All the power ones and caca ones are eating. I stand as a prophet. I stand as a prophet. As a servant of the most high, to decree and declare in your life, whatsoever you have lost in the years of your foreign country, may God bring them back to you. Whosoever they have sold, I said, take back your destiny, take back your marriage, take back your finances, take back your suffer, take back your health, receive back what you have lost. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, now, now remember, remember your feet. I got you. Let me declare this to you. Let me declare this to you in prayer as I run down. When they sell, by next week, I'm going to tell you how they do the transaction. Right? You know, I told you last time here, yeah. so do it through, you know, common prayers. What do I call it? Common prayers. You know why I call it common prayers? Because there are so many people saying, come here, they just come here. Right? Fine. Yeah. Right, you're welcome. All be well with you in this life with Jesus. Amen. Now, you can't go from yourself, I need to Jesus. Amen. Now, somebody somewhere, they 
whether I pray, make you, make you, make you fall, or make this go bad in your life. They are praying. They went to prophets. They will go to prophets. Whatever prophet, and they will take your picture. Now my sister do this. Those who don't mind knowledge, they will pray. Make sure they pack on the game. Make sure you forget and send. You see, those days when you say, well, they just go. All your account will swap everything and send to Nigeria. Your prayer request is in the hand of a fake prophet. And it's there. Do you know that so many people have done that so much that you didn't forget that they will even build your new house? They will use you to train their children. Do you know how many children have trained to university? The way you hold. Anybody, whether they ask whether you go marry or you go marry, that person has to give your name to the prophet. Yes. Their prayer is corrupt. And this is what God is dealing with. I don't try to know where they can your name go. They may not, they may not have gone to say many they kill you for you. What they are praying, pastor, pray, prophet, pray, make all the money which they walk, may they come back to my pocket. Can I say this? Anybody, I don't care to know that is standing in anything that belongs to you. That is in your hands. From today, may he not be comfortable. The fire correcting in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, lastly, we are going to read to you now that I'll start it again on Sunday. We said it is what? Okay. But I'm going to start from up next week so that you can understand that this is a part of the witchcraft. Somebody have joined witchcraft for our sake. I will, I, will, I will explain all of that and where it happened. This is a ministry of a man of God. God is a man A man that God said, Can this body live? And then he prophesied. The man has power for Yet in his church, he was practicing this. Inside the church, watch, watch. I will show you that. But look at one of the things that they say when we are born, the people are by their purpose. Look at what they say. Whatever they think, they say, it is. I don't know who you say your money is. That agreement is absolutely. Amen. He wants to build a house. They say it is not there. He wants to fight for document. They say it is not there. Who are these people that say it's not here? These are people that have sold you. This is where you have been sold. Can I just pray? In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. the Son of the living God. Amen. Every mark of it is not near in your life. Every agreement of it is not near in your life. Every word of prophecy of it is not near in your life. That is happening, making your life so miserable. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the Living God, I cancel that statement. I say I delete that statement. Let the statement be broken. In the name of Jesus. Now hear this. They said it is not there. That was what they said in their kingdom. That was what your enemy said. The people that sold you. They sold you so that you cannot build your house. They sold you so that you cannot make things happen in your life. They have sold you. They put a sell you, sell it because they say it is not near for you to achieve your dream. But I am standing here as a prophet to release to somebody, whoever is watching me now. I don't know who said it is not near, but I am standing here to reverse that statement. Amen. It is close. Amen. It is near. Amen. It is close. Amen. It is near. Amen. Your destiny is now. Amen. Your marriage is now. Amen. Your breakthrough is now. Amen. Your deliverance 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 is now. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. In the name of God the Holy Ghost. By next week Sunday, we are going to pray. We have to put on your shoes of prayers. Put on your helmet of sweat. Pray. If you don't know, they are going to pray before they get to it. Anything can happen. I promise you, anything can happen. Amen. Amen.
you know how you're going to have to deliver to this world. Yes. Whosoever that God delivered is somebody who has the soul. Anything they sell that belongs to you, that the power in the blood of Jesus, as you pray, you shall receive it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, From 10 years ago up to now, go home, think about it. Remember something because time will not permit me to call you now. Maybe your son we are going to talk about. Ten years in combat in that world, and something was troubling about that never came. The Lord said, You made this. Amen. But I want to pray for you personally during the prayer of this prayer. But if you're that person, make sure you get it on Sunday. I will pray for you. There is a method that God has told you to pray for such a way that you don't know if you're a second for you. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you're blessed today, then you shout to me. Amen. 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 Acknowledging you for who you are, for what you've done in my life. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Dance, I dance, I Baba. I might know who you are for what you've done. Kashabani had this in my life. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Dance Akira. Yes, Akira. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. For what you've done. Kashela Nabade. In my life, Lord. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. In my life, I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Dance, Akira. Dance, Akira. Baba, I might know who you are for what you've done. Kashabani had this in my life. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Dance, Akira. I'm acknowledging 